Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. Please comment about the video in the comment section. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the order Neuroptera as well as the Sterepistera and the Symphonoptera. So these are the three orders which are we are going to cover in this lecture. And I am going to tell you that uh, it is the final lecture video about the fundamentals of entomology. So it's the end as well as the final video of our course. So first we are going to see about the order Neuroptera. So while seeing the about the etymology, the name classification which is the nerve. Neuro which is nerve as well as terra which is wings. So the nerved wing insects are said to be comes under the order Neuroptera. Their common names are said to be known as the lace wings. So these are the images of lace wings and uh, ant lions uh, and uh, mantis pit flies and as well as the owl flies. So these are the four common names which are said to be found in the Neuroptera order. And while seeing about the characteristics of the Neuroptera order insects, so they are said to be the soft body insect and they used to have filiform or capped type of antenna and the mouth parts are achieving type in adult ones. Wings are said to be equal as well as the membranes with cross wings. So it's how they used to get the name as well as place it in the order Neuroptera. They used to be held in roof-like manner over the abdomen. They are said to be known as the weak flyers in the environment. So these are the pictures and uh, while seeing about the larval characteristics, they are said to be camporiform and the uh, larval used to have the mandible sectorial mouth parts and the pupa is said to be exerted one and where the pupation used to takes place in the silk and cocoon by these insects. So the 6 out of 8 malpigian tubules are said to be modified as silk glands in these larval characteristics. They, uh, these silk glands are used to spin the cocoon through their anal spinet in these insects. So these are the pictures of some of the insects. So while seeing about the classification, they are set mainly subdivided into two suborders. They are Megaloptera as well as the Planipinia. So first we are going to see about the supporter Planipinia. So the Planipinia supporter used to composed of four families. They are Chrysophidae, Mantispidae, Myramelonidae as well as Ascaplafidae. So these are the four uh, groups. And the first one is Chrysophidae. So which used to comprise of green lace wings, golden eyes as well as the uh, Aphid lions. So while seeing about the characteristics, the body is said to be pale green in color and the eyes are said to be golden yellow in colors. Eggs are mounted in stakes. So these are you know, the major three characteristics we must need to um, remember. And the larvas used to prey on the soft bodies insects, especially on the adult one insects. They are said to be moss multiplied and released in fields for controlling aphids in which is used as a integrated pest management in the environment and these are the pictures of them uh, after that we are going to see about the mantis pity and uh, the common names are said to be known as the mantis pit flies while seeing the resemblance they are used to have a resemblance of praying mantids and the prothorax is said to be the elongated one and the four legs are raptorial one which are said to be uh, used to have a powerful spines for their preying activities and the larva used to have a spindlings in the nest of ground spiders so the development involved in these group of insects are hypermetamorphosis so they used to have more than four developmental stages so these are the pictures of them and after that we are going to see is myrmelanotidae which is used to compose of ant lions so while seeing about the resemblance one, they used to have a resemblance of damselfly and the antenna is said to be long as well as the club one, they are said to be the weak flyers and uh, while seeing about the premature stages of grubs, they used to have a connectile pit, pit for capturing the prey and the larval mandibles are said to be like sickle like one with one or more internal teeth and they used to have a dorchester which is a lateral segment for with a fringed CT which is which is said to be used by them for creating a conical pits in the soil surfaces and uh, these are the pictures of them 
and after that we are going to see is ascalafide which is used to compress of owl flies and the adult used to resembles like a dragonfly in nature and the antenna is to be long conspicuous as well as the clubbed one larva do not construct pits to capture the prey and uh, they used to capture them by attacking on them and the adults are said to be the aerial predators like dragonflies and after that we are going to see uh, about the order sterpis terra and it is said to be known as the parasitic order while seeing about the name they used to have a twisted or turned type of wings present in them and their common names are uh, stylophytes twisted wing insects as well as the terra terrans so these are the common names given to them and uh, while seeing about the habitat um, in these insects so the male used to have a mating through the embedded female and the male emerging from the host itself and while seeing about some are habitats they used to be known as the internal parasites of bees wasp grasshopper leaf popper and uh, other members of hemiptera so they are mainly dependent on the hemiptera insects so they making those insects as their host body and they used to emerge as an adult one and uh, while seeing about the stages the grub the first in stall used to have legs with high mobility they are said to be the free living one and the successive insects are to in stalls are said to be the leg legs and uh, as well as the grub like structure with reduced mouth parts they are said to be the parasitic one they used to attack on the hemiptera insects and uh, act as a parasite in the in those insect body and the pupa is said to be exerted pupa and while seeing in adults the female it is said to be the small as well as the endoparasitic insect which is large form as well as legless and wingless one and the partially project from the host abdomen after the maturation process is done and uh, these are the pictures of teriptera insect the female one and uh, where you can able to see the cephalothorax which is present on the um, grubs and while seeing about the male they are said to be free living and the antenna is said to be four to seven segmented which is a flabellate and often with the lateral branching and they used to have a small club like four wings which are said to be known as the halters and the hind wings are said to be large and fan shaped and uh, the trochanter is said to be absent in the male ones so these are the pictures of male one which is said to be a free living one in these insects so i have given the pictures about these t- Sterifistera insect to know about their biology as well as the ecology one and the while seeing about the developmental stages they used to go the hyper metamorphosis so they used to have more than four stages and after that we are going to see the final order in our course so the siphonotra while seeing about the name the siphon which is tube and the terra wingless so they used to have a tube like structure in their body and they are said to be wingless in nature while seeing about their common names the fleas are said to be the better example for these insects and while seeing the habitats as adults they are all used to flee or blood sucking external parasites on mammals and only adult flea inhabited the host body and feed on its blood it's their main nature and while seeing about the characteristics the larva the body is said to be adults as well as the used to have a maggot like structure which is used to is partially covered with hairs and the heads are said to be reduced and mouth parts are mandible type and the scavengers on bedlings so they are said to be also known as the bed bug like in nature and these are the pictures as well as the life cycle on siphonoptera insects so they used to have four stages like egg larva pupa and adult one and uh, while seeing about the adult characteristics they are said to be the active insects with uh, the hard endoskeleton and they also have a mind to small apoterous insects and the body is bilaterally flattened with the posteriorly directed spines so that they can able to move easily within the host fur as well as the feathers and the large fistil legs are said to be often present on head or thorax of these regions and the compound eyes are said to be absent in these one mouth part is the piercing or sucking type of mouth parts is said to be present uh, so you can able to name that as hastly type of mouth part so i have given the biological picture of the insect so you can able to see about those one while comparing with the ppt and uh, and they are said to be known as the ectoparasites of 
warm blooded animals so they used to suck the blood from these animals and the important family in these are the Pulisidae which is said to be known as the comprise of common flies so they also used to include the species with economic as well as the medical important one um, the or oriental rat flea which is Cyna Xenophilus cepheus is an example and while seeing about their economic importance in addition to the irritating bites they also used to transmit the pathogens that causes disease in humans as well as the other animals the oriental rat fleet which used to transmit the babionic plague in most of the insects as well as the animals so while seeing about the importance they used to cause a big damage in the older period so which used to cause the black plague in many places so I have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about our video it's how it's done and we can able to improve ourselves by your comment section and I have also given the Instagram page which is in the video description as well as the about of our YouTube channel so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to BSC agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos